Hey there, signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim to do your next 48-hour reading. I hope you're doing really good out there, and thanks for joining me. Um, always, I ask that your spirit team join us <clears throat> as these messages are made to resonate for your highest good. I do have private readings available. If you're interested in that, please check it out in the description box below. Now, let's get in to a reading. Sagittarius. Next 48 hour for Sagittarius with the full moon, um, the full wolf moon. That's right, 6 p.m. or 6, 6 something, 608, 609. So, so we have that. So those are for, uh, you know, you can manifest and your new intentions can be made and use the energy wisely. You may be, you probably are already feeling it, so. Cancer, so it's a very, um, it's the moon as it is, and then you add cancer sign to it, and it's a very, very emotional moon then. Um, the Fool. It's, a, it's starting off at zero, though. I really like The Fool, um, because it is, underlying issue which is and taking a leap of faith in some kind of new start or new beginning that you have possibly waiting on some news nice that's good well when your heart is in it and let me tell you your heart is all in it with the magician hmm. that's good two for the outcome oh goodness okay Hmm. Trusting a situation again, but we're waiting on news. It either it's some kind of money delay. There's something going on there with the um with the pentacles. Um losing patience with with something here. We're losing patience with something. So it's time for like a break or a timeout. Um and it's time to really get past the past. Um, taking with us, you know, the good things and, and also, of course, the wisdom. So, maybe it's time to focus, uh, time out to focus on rest, relaxation, recovery. Page of Cups here is in the reverse. I, don't, I usually look at that card as being like a as feeling like something isn't going to work out or isn't very hopeful. Um, waiting, possibly, on a partnership or on something something to do with this Two of Cups. So, waiting around. Something that just didn't seem hopeful about it. Uh, let me get something else, too, because... Hmm... It feels like you're really motivated um, to just kind of go out there, put yourself back out there and release some commitments because of exhaustion and, and taking a break and then maybe going back to some. Uh, but there feels like something that you're just going to decide you would rather um, look for look for something or look for this feeling with somebody else or this success was or looking forward to a success, but it might end up being invested. So, so there's an issue. Tell me about, um, the eight of wands in the reverse, seven of cups in the reverse. Um, so it's like you're waiting on news. Um, because of being able to see something really clearly as far as like how, um, how much can you take of whatever it is that you're in, whatever relationship that you're in, because there, it feels like it's seeing clearly that there has to be a break or a timeout. Um, the challenge really could be somebody that's trying to like butt into your affairs with the Queen of Pentacles being in the reverse. It's not, it's like the opposite of trying to make sure everything's held together in a family. It could be the, the source of what would be making something fall apart. 
possibly. You have seven, seven. So the challenge is putting yourself back out there. I feel like your heart is, is all about manifesting something kind of new and getting, um, getting away from these past hurt feelings. So tell me more about the uh, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Justice. Justice. Hmm. Retaliation or the truth, the clarity, if somebody was talking to someone or not. And it's like, a, if so, then something needs to be healed. And it looks like you make the decision to kind of just move on from something or from someone. Okay. Deep messages. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. In the reverse for how you're feeling. Like someone was caught. Like you caught someone. <laughs> That's how I could say it. Or like not having any of the sneakiness because you can spot it, that kind of energy. Everyone can see this. Um, 777 in flow. Ready just to kind of um, be bold or brave and transparent. And I feel like that's how you're feeling. Now, the confidence is what what's needed really to let go of this past energy. So, uh, justice. Tell me about the Five of Cups. I think this one is wanting to come out. The Five of Wands. Okay competition or uh, could be that energy around around whenever you're trying to have focus but there's other things going on um, around you so it could be talking about possibly about distractions but I also get like pettiness and games and um, it might be why you got exhausted of somebody's games Hmm. Now, this can also be possibly, if it's about business, it can be about having the skills be balanced regarding uh, what you're earning and what you're getting, bringing in and your resources and getting those numbers um, up. It can have to do with that and then hearing the news of that. So waiting on kind of like a business to do better. Or something like that. Waiting for investments to pay off. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. The Devil in reverse. Getting rid of one's um, addictions or vices or ways that they could self-sabotage. Getting away from that and getting away from investing in toxic um, relationships that don't do anything for you, really. except possibly influence you through temptation or something like that. So it's like, it, it is, it's breaking free from some kind of major control. It feels like a lot of control. Um, geez. So like, like I said, there's this delay for this person coming through for you with the three of wands and the reverse is surprised that I don't know. I just feel like you're going to be maybe surprised that somebody doesn't pull through for you when it comes to to your pentacles or something with the money. Um, let's get a different deck and see what else we can get. Tell me about um, that Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Wands. New beginning. New passionate beginning. Or something that you're really passionate about. 
Tell me more. Tell me about this Five of Wands energy. Ooh. King of Cups. More than one person possibly like competing for your heart. I think we could say safely that might be it. So finding something or a situation where you're not dealing with so many games um, or that someone that would resonate uh, with your heart, like on the level of how you resonate or how you're feeling. Someone that can see the magician in you. <laughs> Tell me about the Queen of Wands in the reverse. It feels like the Queen of Wands in the reverse isn't that self-confident. And that's why, because she's in the reverse, that's why it's clarified by a Nine of Pentacles. Ta screaming independence, entrepreneurship, and financial gain or windfall. Providing you the inspiration to kind of move forward. It looks like there's going to be a surprise journey. And I think this reading is just giving you the energy to, in advance, um, don't make the same decision over and over that, uh, you know, expecting different result. So what do we do with the seven of pentacles in the reverse? The hierophant. Commitment. <laughs> Marriage. Traditional. What you invested in. And something being kind of off. The scales aren't balanced. It's not reciprocal enough. At least in this reading. If it doesn't resonate with you. Then it just doesn't resonate with you. But um, the page of swords. Is information. Or a tough conversation. It might be what you're hoping for. Wow. And for some kind of like abrupt change. With the tower. Abrupt change or sudden change. The high priestess energy kind of just knows too. So it, this moon, you'll also feel really um, tied to. Well, you should feel it really strong. Letting go of attachments that keep us grounded to something that we don't maybe need in our lives or something that doesn't influence us very well. Nine of Swords. Keeping your thoughts positive is going to be definitely key. Even in a situation if you, there's nothing that you can do at the moment for it. Uh, keeping your thoughts balanced, that, that always helps. So the time out in the healing with the Four of Swords, the issue crowning. Four of Cups, kind of like over it. You got four, four, four. And at this point, you at this point, I think instead of you know, taking a time out to heal your heart, but I think somebody may have missed an opportunity with you. And this is just you kind of like acknowledging that. Yeah. Having strength and confidence too on the bottom of the deck to go in the direction that you need to. Okay, so that's what I got. Like I said, do private readings. So, Sagittarius, um, ask your angels. They're saying to trust the universe. Trust yourself. Possibly compromise with the scales again coming into balance. Compromise. And then let go or surrender. And, and success. And success. Okay, let's get some, not tea leaves. Let's do the intuitive life coaching oracle. I know it's going to get kind of messy, but I like this deck. Eight, your spiritual gifts. You're in the process of fine-tuning your spiritual gifts. 23, restlessness. Find a way to calm the waters of your mind. 58, parting ways. It may be time to move on from this person or situation. <laughs> and then some of you all will reconcile. This relationship, friendship, or partnership can be saved. Or maybe there's something about a friendship too. 
Uh, 44 synchronicities allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events will lead you to a new direction. So let go of attachments. 444, four, four. lots of fours. And increase on the bottom of the deck, 74. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart with increase. That's what I've got for you, Sagittarius. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.